Welcome to another Ayehu iShare tutorial. Today, I'll show you how to execute Exchange 2010 PowerShell commands using Ayehu iShare. Before you start, you need to install Exchange Management Tools on your Ayehu server. Execute the Exchange setup and select Custom Installation. Now, the first step will be defining the PowerShell command in iShare. Go to Repository, Commands, and Create New Command. Enter the following command for a 64-bit server. Or PowerShell.exe for a 32-bit server. Now let's take a look at how we define the command in the iShare workflow. Go to Studio, Workflows, and Create New Workflow. Drag and drop the Executor action from the Execution section. And select the PowerShell command that you just created. The Exchange PowerShell command must begin with the following arguments and be followed by the specific command. You can find these arguments on the Ayahu website. Make sure to replace the server name parameter with your Exchange server name and domain name. Let's make sure to edit that Exchange server name right here. In order to execute the operation, add the relevant command. Here's the list of Exchange 2010 Top 10 PowerShell commands. For our example, let's execute Get Mailbox Statistics for a user named Nick. Don't forget to replace the username parameter with the relevant user. Of course, it can be a variable as well. Press the Run button to execute the workflow. Let's watch the active logs at the bottom of the screen to view the execution results. Looks good. Save and close the workflow. Enter your workflow name. Now, let's view a sample of a complete workflow that monitors the mailbox quota of a list of users. In the event the quota usage is higher than 80%, it increases its size and sends out a notification. The workflow reads a list of users from the selected OU and uses the Get Mailbox Statistics PowerShell command to retrieve the mailbox size of each user. Then, it uses the Get Mailbox PowerShell command to retrieve the user mailbox quota. It calculates the current usage of the user mailbox, and when it's higher than 80%, it increases its quota using the set mailbox PowerShell command. Then it rechecks the quota size and sends a notification email to the system administrator. Let's execute the workflow to see how it works. iShare retrieves the list of users from that selected OU. It extracts each username, retrieves the user's mailbox size, retrieves the user's mailbox quota, calculates the mailbox usage, increases that user quota, rechecks the quota size, and finally sends that notification email to the system administrator. This concludes our Executing Exchange PowerShell commands using a Yahoo iShare tutorial. For further information, please visit our website at www.ayahu.com.